Come get the Come on, come on, come on, come on, No, he isn't. How you know? Cause he's white. Look, he white and black. He mixed. No, it ain't. No, he isn't. Mom, is mixed. Mom, 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 no, it's not. Because you're probably selling that dog. Probably, but... Hey, probably, hey, mama probably gonna get it for us. Probably? Wait, I wanna pet him. Is that a monkey? I don't wanna pet that. If it's a monkey, I ain't petting it. Monkey. It's, it's not a monkey. Dog. Good lord, it was not a monkey. It's a dog. I know. They love animals. I see they love animals. Yeah, because they This is a peacock, I think. Is that what? a peacock? Oh, that's... <laughs> no, it was those pigeons. You oh, know, yeah, the... yeah, that, yeah, that, that. But I, I forgot what was the Is it a her or him? It is a him, I think. We get a new dog. No way. Are we ba babysitting right now? There's two of y'all back there. This makes that What are y'all sitting in the middle? Yeah, I'm sitting in the middle. No, I just go home. No, no. I just go home. Shaking, he's nervous. Yeah. Put him on your lap, baby. I'm gonna put him up there. No, on the floor. let me see. I'm let baby. I hold him while we drive. Mom, we got him. Yes, that's a surprise. Surprise. Mom, you said. <laughs> <say. laughs> I am beat down. 
literally like not even playing child having a puppy is not for the week this is not hey come here come here come here stay near me it is not for the week at all when i tell y'all at all at all it is just like having a newborn baby not that i never had a puppy before because my first shit zoo which was chase if y'all been following me for a minute y'all probably seen it before um i got him at 12 weeks and i don't remember it being this hard child i am beat down beat Hmm. Honey, I'm stressed. And he's stressed too. Because he had to get a bath. Say hey. Get back over here. Say hey. It's like a little ugly mole red wet. It's so dark. Y'all can't even see me, child. My camera broke. Head crooked, y'all. Being a mama three is kicking my butt. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it, but I'm cold. Let me turn on some heat real quick. I mean, my sister Lauka, of course. Whenever y'all hear this loudness of situations, her loud car. I'm gonna turn this down because I ain't gonna be able to hit me. He ain't even hot yet. But, um, it's a lot of days later. I have officially had this dog, which we named Bruno, by the way, for, I don't remember. Let's see. Let's see when I got Mr. Bruno. It's been two weeks since, as of yesterday. It made two weeks since I have had this dog. I got him at eight weeks old. He's now 10 weeks old. He got his second set of shots yesterday, day before yesterday. But y'all, this dog, let me let, let, let me go back. I, I don't even want to get to talking about his little personality. Let me just warn everybody who was planning on getting a puppy, like, an actual puppy like from baby a baby dog don't <laughs> listen don't get one until you are fully sure that you are ready to be a legit mother not even kidding you like unless you got the funds to sign that puppy up for classes and even if if the breeder get rid of the puppies at eight weeks they're not even old enough to even go to any type of training classes. They have to wait till they're fully vaccinated in order to go to any type of training classes. So, with that being said, if you're not sure you're ready to be a mama, like a legit mother, don't. Don't get one. If you ain't ready for kids, don't get a dog. Like, if you, ain't, if you're not, if you don't already have kids and you're not ready for none yet, don't get a dog and if you got kids and you're not ready for another child don't get a puppy don't get one right now girl this dog has been sending me down through the dragging me by the scalp that i get because i ain't got no hair girl this is legit a baby i mean, I'm, I'm talking about getting up two to three times in the middle of the night for one a dog I feel like he shouldn't re he really should change his policy and he shouldn't release the dogs until they're like 12 weeks old and he should properly detach them from their mother from the mother boob before handing the dog over because this dog dealt with such bad separation anxiety um the first week I had him y'all it was it was y'all barely can see me because it's dark it's getting dark outside but it was and then i got this head on but it was a mess when i say a mess i mean y'all can't see my eyes or nothing i want y'all to see my eyes because i ain't got no brows on but it was a hot mess like 
I like a good dude. I like a good dude, by the way. I got this head on, my husband jacket on. Child, listen, I'm, finna, I'm, I'm in the car because I'm finna grade and run in Publix and get the kids something, get the kids some pieces so they can have pizza for dinner tonight. But, girl, getting up in the middle of the night, two to three times in the middle of the night, uh, for one, because he just did not like being in the crate. I, um, I bought, uh, I think I showed y'all. If I did, I'm going to show y'all the actual, like, playpen slash doghouse that I, that I purchased to begin with before I picked him up. Um, I had, to, I purchased that, um, thinking that it would have been better because it's bigger. He hates it. He hated it then. He hated it. Um, wouldn't sleep in it. It was too big to be in the room with me. So I had to go get a smaller crate, like an actual dog crate something where he couldn't turn around and do too much in just enough for him to lay down and like sit up a little bit to put in the room with me so he can be able to see me and hear me and know that it's okay and he didn't have to bark his little throw out all night besides from the barking and the it wasn't even barking at first it was whining and crying like a real deal human baby besides from that he gets so nervous and scared from not seeing nobody not hearing no more noise once the lights go out and it's nighttime girl will poop all in girl boo boo just all in a cage all up in the house and it was watery one because he must have just got detached from his mom's boob so he came from drinking milk to now eating dog food so his bowels had to adjust also his nerves i did not know that when dogs are anxious or when they nervous or scared when they poop it, it can cause them to, to poop even if they don't have to poop and when they do poop it's loose and oh my god the puppy was boo-booing in the middle of the night like two one or two times every night for the first week i had him and trying to he was trying to jump to because i leave the top part of the, the doghouse open he was trying to jump to get out of the doghouse and just jumping and stepping all in the poop so it's boo boo everywhere when i say out everywhere i mean everywhere like if y'all if if you knew me for the people who do know me who watch me knows i have the weakest stomach and can just throw up or gag just instantly from the smallest girl talking about somebody struggling like so much poop and it's everywhere so i was giving him baths early in the like middle of the night morning and having to sleep on the couch so the dog can sleep on his bed outside the cage until i did i like the fourth day of me having him the fourth night it was like 4 30 in the morning girl i had text the um i text the owner and i just was like i need advice because at this point i'm about to sell him back to you because in his contract if you don't want the dog you don't want you selling it he wants you to offer it to him first and purchase the dog back because you want to make sure his dogs is in good homes and not you know going to nobody who don't care whatever blah 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 i text him not even expecting for him to respond because it was so early in the morning and he responded and he just has been such an amazing help like he waited to like 7 30 in the morning he contacted a vet for me um a doctor for me to get some advice about the anxiety and the pooping and the crying and it just girl it just was a lot it was a lie it was a lie like i was this close i'm this close dude, wait let me see how little that is yep about that that close <laughs> from getting my money back and sending him back from where he came from because i was not expecting that but um it has gotten a lot better it has gotten a lot better so this is we are over the second week we are into the third week of heaven uh, Mr. Bruno and it has gotten a lot better he still doesn't care for the crate but he has learned that when it's nighttime it's time to go the crate 
the small one that I want to go back is still inside the room with us. I have not even tried to get it outside the room with us. It, it's like a process of inching it closer to the door and then eventually out the room. I haven't I haven't even tried that yet. I said I was gonna start I was gonna start it once. He's at least like 12, 12 weeks because I just feel like he just was too young to begin with. Cause my first shizzle, which is uh, which was Chase, if you guys have been following me for a little minute, and remember saying chasing in a couple of videos. Um, if I was vlogging during that time, I don't even remember if I was vlogging during that time. I probably wasn't. That might have been a time where I had took like a couple years break, like just forgot about YouTube. Um, but I had another shizzle before we moved to Chicago the very last time. Which is why I ended up giving him away because he couldn't go with me. Um, and I got him at 12 weeks. 12 or 13 weeks. And he was not like this. He was the total opposite. But I'm assuming it's because he was older. Like me and my dad was talking. And we just putting two and two together. He was older and he just was... Uh, he had a little bit of time to... I, the person who I bought him from, I'm guessing she must have had... Separated him from his mom in time enough to give him time to deal with that ch deal with that change and then she started to sell them so he just was so different from this one like so different so very different i did not go through none of this way that i that i'm going through with this one right here but yeah i've been talking y'all for 10 minutes but i have to go in here come on here and just give you guys an update of the pup because last time y'all seen me i think i was giving him a bath or yeah, I think I, it was after me giving him a bath after he pooped everywhere from being in the cage. Girl, it's just been a journey. I, I officially got three kids, like three kids. And then on top of that, hold on y'all. And then on top of that, on top of all of that dramatics of the crying and pooping and all the anxiety stuff, get past um uh, we have gotten so far past that like a good amount past that thank you jesus they haven't gotten a whole lot better um but girl they the the vets they have went crazy with the prices like when i say all crazy i mean crazy with the prices when i had chase um my daddy did give chase all of his shots because if you guys know my dad used to you know be in the pit bull world and breeding him and all of that stuff pretty much all my life he just stopped doing that before right when we moved to huntsville yeah um so he gave chase all of his shots and whatnot so i didn't have to deal with that but when i first got chase i did take him to the doctor to the vet just to get him a full checkup make sure he was good and all of those things all of those things and then i think i had to get him a rabies shot um which his first visit with the rabies shot and all of that the little checkup was like no more than forty dollars if i'm remembering correctly it was no more than forty dollars i called to attempt to set an appointment with the vet that the the breeder recommended for his second shots Gordon told me a hundred dollars I was gonna do it then i thought back on how i didn't pay no one near hundred dollars for chase then my daddy asked me how much was it and i told him he was like what like they went they that expensive now he's like don't worry about it i'm gonna go pick him up a shot from the tractor supply and i'm gonna give it to him myself and yeah we just we just get get away from all that because they tripping girl it's a child the expect the, the 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 long nights the sleepless nights the adjusting the the money the expense the expenses is the time like i had to go to the shop yesterday to do hair tony shop and i had to bring the dog with me like it's just a lot it's like having a newborn and i wasn't I think I just was really, let me put this seatbelt on to get the drive because it's dark for real. I think I really just had to, the, I think I was envisioning what I went through with Chase. Um, yeah, I was envisioning what I went through with Chase 
And I was just going off of that, opposed to, is it a car coming? Opposed to um, looking at it as like I'm getting like an actual, like a whole different dog. But I don't know, maybe, maybe I just was being very naive, I don't know. Or maybe I just was, I don't know. Either I was being naive, but, or, the breeder really should have kept the dogs, the puppies, until they was a little bit older. So yeah, that's my spiel about the dog. Um, which brings me to something else that just popped in my head. It's so funny how it just how things be. My nose trying to run. I don't know my nose trying to run, but it's just so funny how things be popping in my head. I, I mean, I, I I know it's God, but it is funny how He works. Which brings me to this. Anything that, that's new, that you start, that's fresh, that you had just birthed, no matter what it is, a business, buying a house, whatever it is that's fresh, that God has allowed you to get from inside of you, outside of you. Um, that's not seeming to go well, and it's seeming to be a little rocky and you starting to have second thoughts about it and wishing you probably never did it because it's harder than what you thought and it don't look like you can get over it or it's going gonna, it's gonna to ever, ever get better. Let me let me tell you, it, it, it will. Take it one day at a time. Take it one day at a time. Anything that's, that's worth having, um, especially if it's new, it takes time for it to mature. It, it needs time for it to get stronger. It needs time for it to settle in. It needs time for it to be fed and watered a whole lot before it can actually grow and spring into this thing that can stand on its own. Nothing that's new, nothing that's fresh, nothing that's just, you, you just starting can, can stand on its own without being watered and nurtured properly. It needs to be watered and nurtured properly for a certain amount of time. And everybody's time is different. Everybody's time not the same. Um, everybody's journey not the same. You may see one person who starts something, and I ain't looking at y'all because I'm driving, but you may see one person who may start something, and it may seem like that they started it and it took off within a few months. And then you may see another person who is worth it, looks to be worse off than you. They, they didn't have this business or had this thing going for years. And it's still just, it still look mediocre and it haven't taken this, haven't taken root yet. And then here you are and you feel like you have been waiting for this thing to take off. Listen to me, everything that's new that's just beginning, that's fresh, that you have birthed, or if you're getting ready to push something out from inside of you that you've been waiting to get started, you've been waiting to put your hands on, that you've been waiting to do, do not give up. Do not become weary in well-doing. That's the scripture that's popped in my head for in due season you shall reap a harvest of what you have sown. Um, it takes a minute and it's a reason why he tell us not to get weary because he know that it's all about timing It's all about patience and it's your endurance have to be tested and um, Character have to be built in that thing and even in you while that thing is being built So don't give up continue to nurture it continue to water it continue to Parent it you have to literally baby that thing and pour into it keep pouring into it the more you pour into it the more the deeper the root of that thing can get can go down into the ground and it will eventually sprout to be something so amazing to where it will eventually be able to stand so strong and so firmly in god because of how much you have nurtured it and watered it so don't give up don't get weary before that thing you allow that thing to be able to come to pass thanks to um mr bruno because he's the reason why that just popped in my head um just thinking about the, the process of dealing with him and him being a baby and now we are two weeks in on our third week now of having him and it's the more i time i spend with him the more i uh, nurture him and just care for him and just being there and um, creating structure and discipline he's getting better and better and it's all it almost seems as if what I experienced before is so far away 
when in actuality it was just a week ago but a week ago when I was going through the worst part of it I could not see over the hill and that's because I'm not meant to see over the hill I'm not God I'm meant to take it one day one step at a time the Bible tells us to worry about today because tomorrow has its worries of its own so yeah focus on today and let tomorrow focus on itself it's, you're not meant to focus on how your business or how the thing is going to look tomorrow or three months down the line. That's God's job. Let him focus on what he focused on. You focus on what he put in front of you today. You focus on how you need to nurture it, how you need to water it, how you need to love it. And yeah, that's it.